Oh, we starting right now. That one, my kid. Yeah. 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 Hey, I know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we starting right now. Go ahead, Elder. All right. Okay. All right. Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praise, honor, glory to you all. Y'all was shy. 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 Revelation 13. Um, what we got? Uh, uh, I'll grab it. Okay. Uh, um, Revelation 13. Yeah, so, um, yeah they, uh, and then last year, you know, um, in Wisconsin, they had 
as employees take, you know, as you get an implant. You know. So this is East yeah. Union was once uh green, so you had total control, man. You know, the US likes taking it that chip. You're saying that he's your guy. So far yeah. away. Right, we start with the talent side. We start with the talent side. He don't play that. Uh, 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 you have a Hebrew slave, uh, 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 Exodus uh, 21 and, uh, uh, um, and 1. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's that? 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 Huh. Yep, that's what that chip is gonna be. You know, that gives him total control of everything, man. You know, you know, he can cut the chip off. He can kill you with the chip. Huh. You know, yeah, he's one only people you know, huh. thinks he got anyway. Huh. Yeah, that's what will make him feel like he's God, man. He, he, he get you chipped, you know, with your total control, man. Uh, also, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with the chip as well, like like uh, the apostles had, had, or the brothers were going out and, and showing uh, the different, like the soldiers and stuff that had came by the camp, they had the chips in their head and shit. So I used to be in the army, and what they do is with that chip is basically the reason they putting so many of those chips inside the soldiers is because they had a big problem with soldiers going AWOL. And for those that don't know what AWOL is, is basically uh, when a soldier disappears off the map for an undisclosed amount of time. You know, when they disappear off the map, like if they catch you seven years down the line, guess what? They'll lock you up and they'll still bring you. I've seen um, Jason, they did that to, to it. They'll bring them right back to the same duty station that they were at, you know. But if you got that chip in their head, you know, you won't have soldiers going AWOL. And if any soldier basically says anything, they basically say anything that's um, out of line or out of context. What they'll do is just like the, like the other said, they'll just hit that switch and, and cut your your life force off. Yeah, God, God, yeah, yeah, like say, yeah, go away wall, you'll just come up missing, disappear. Yeah, they, 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 we ain't gonna be able to have that chip in you, so they can track you. Huh. Okay. And they make it seem like it's convenient with, with these shopping items and, and these different merchandises. When actually, man, like 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 the other was saying, you know, that's basically somebody imitating the most high. That's the six 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 in general, you know, because the, the, these devils they basically want to be that holy trinity, you know, and they and they try to accomplish it through the, the technology. I got that Revelation thirteen and sixteen real quick for me. Um, this is Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and on their forehead. Um, God, we talk about that word mark, um, the Greek word karakma, which means that station. All right, a stamp, if you look it up, you know, they say it causes all, both small and great. So that's telling you, gonna make this mandatory. Gonna try to force everybody to take it. Like the Yahweh about shot, it's not gonna take this chip. Yeah. Yeah, they have to be put to death. Come, come, come. been um priming, priming the people to take this mark of the beast for a while. That's why he got all types of. Uh, what is it? I pay stations self where you use your cell phone to uh, pay for your stuff. Uh, yeah, he is the master of uh, uh, making things gradual, basically slowly burning the frog. I mean, slowly boiling the frog, you know. Right. This is uh, Job 14 and 4. This says, uh, you, you know, no, uh, you know, convenient. It's, 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 it
Well, no, you know, they can't that was a lot. So they, uh, so they can live by that Alice the Crowley theory, which is basically uh, do as thou wilt or just do it. You know, they came over here basically yeah. so somebody can have a spiritual, um, wicked, free wickedness or, or celebrate it with the freedom without having to be oppressed and killed. Uh, this is Joe 14 and 4. It says, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? <laughs> And that chip, there's nothing clean about the chip. There's nothing good. You know, they might, like uh, like they were going through before, you have uh, basically set it up to where different stars and celebrities will start pushing it and make it look like it's a good thing, you know, but the chip in itself is an unclean thing. You know, that's why the most high would, just like, um, what is it, um, homosexuals are unclean um, or, or somebody that does witchcraft, like you said, they're unclean, all right? So they're all abominations. Yep. So basically, that, that there's nothing, nothing clean about an abomination. Uh, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So the Mosai has already established a bound that they can't even pass. But you know, Esau's a habitual line stepper, so he's going he's gonna, to um, ramp everything up. And he actually has it set in his head, you know, to get this um, on and started, you know. It says, turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an hireling his, his day. And basically, we're just waiting for the Most High to go ahead and accomplish this punishment and, and let this devil go ahead and try to do what he's going to do. And we're just waiting for him to come back and bring it down because that's prophecy. Ah, God. Yo. Yeah, it's too like said, the bounds cannot pass. Like you like said, Lord has a set date, um, whatever you know, according to scriptures, and he, we ain't gonna bring them down, man. And like I said, you know, him using it's celebrities so. as, as witchcraft, man. You know, it's him using as witchcraft, man. You know, to make it seem like it's a good act, it's good that you take a chip. <laughs> you know, is that good like a potato chip? <laughs> <laughs> they got it like the lays, they gonna make it seem like it's good. Like a pair, like a like a bag of them greasy ass Lay's potato chip. I bet you can't have just one. Like you said, some folks just got about three or four chips in them and stuff, you know. And that <laughs> that shit is crazy, man. It's, that's over excessive, you know. Well, basically, they want to uh be able to track every body part on you if if, if you uh try to escape. Yep, just systematically shut you down, <laughs> shut uh, your lip like on um. I just saw that movie last night or the other night that um, Upgrade, you know, it could systematically uh, start shutting you down, you know, by percentage, you know. <laughs> oh, you don't want to do this or that? You know, they might be able to threaten yeah. you by shutting down your legs or something like that. And, and, and basically kind of like uh, that movie Repo Men, where they would come and repossess their uh, their rented out organs, you know. God. Uh, God. Oh, yeah, you mentioned upgrade. Yeah, Khan. Yeah. Like you said, upgrade, he couldn't even walk. He got an accident, he couldn't walk. He got that chip. He could go walk again, you know, do other things. But when he shut the chip off, uh, yeah, like you say, it was seen when he could shut the chip off. He was crawling. Crawl, I think he's in the building. He was crawling. Khan. But he couldn't walk before. Khan. Uh, and what, what happened at the end, not to be a spoiler, but that technology. You know, he saw he's to the point where he think he got a good grasp on this technology and 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 um you know they think they're actually in a good condition with those different devices that they have, but they also set aside the most high put it on their spirit because those very devices that they have are gonna be their hey. very downfall, excuse me. You know? Hey I already have uh, that preset for you. Huh. Oh, yeah, oh, but I got a precept of what you just said. This is the book of uh, Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that yeah. their hands did not perform their enterprise. Yep. I just read that before we came on the live stream. That's the spirit, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, that they, the most high is going to disappoint that enterprise that they have. You know, they think that they're going to get it started and it's going to be fully up and running. And, you know, just like on, um, what was that movie, Kingsman? When Samuel L. Jackson and them, they were toasting and shit. You know, they were celebrating. And all of them had chip in the base of their neck. You know, so when you God. press the button, 
their head would explode and shit. They was all in there toasting and they thought everything was everything and they were celebrating and shit. The elites were. And then, you know, he messed around and pressed that button and all of their heads started popping off and shit in the room. Um, I got a piece up for y'all. This is uh, Isaiah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I got a preach up for y'all. This is um, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for the power is with us. For, for Yahweh spake thus unto me a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of the people. Saying, but then it goes into uh, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say, a confederacy neither fear ye their fear nor be afraid. Sanctify Yahweh of hosts himself and let him be your fear and let and let him be your dread. Because all the all the things that basically the people of this world, one, they they fear death, and then they want everything to be easy. So, right. you know, the Heavenly Father said that this confederacy, the, this council that they're taking together is not going to stand. But the people of the world don't want, don't believe that. And then once they start getting chipped and, and, and Esau going to have them under the threat of death. Well, actually, Esau going to have everybody under the threat of death. People is going to do anything they can just to live a little longer, not knowing that you're going to die anyway. Come on. We got a priest up. Okay. Uh, 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 this uh, Israel was when, 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 when they was first led out of Egypt, uh, Exodus 14 and 11, and they okay. said unto Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore, thou hast dealt, us, dealt with us and carried us out of Egypt is, 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 is not the word that did tell thee in Egypt, let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians for it has been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. And, and many people going to take this RFID microchip so they can eat. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, what did I say? And many they more say, people man's gonna... got to eat. You know? Man's got to eat. That's, like, that, that's the excuse right okay. there. You know? Cut. And and they also going to first start taking it because they're going to receive them benefits. You know, seeing that 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 that, that, that got them uh, uh, bridge card, that that them food uh -huh. stamps, uh, 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 that social security shit, because they're going to put it out on them first. Mm -hmm. You know, you going to receive yeah. the benefits if you set this RID microchip. Oh, yeah, that's going to send the, yeah. uh, the so-called black woman into a motherfucking hysteria. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're gonna be running straight to the welfare office to grab that chip to get it. <laughs> this is um, right, it's gonna, be the iPhone. gonna probably be the iPhone uh, 11. <laughs> Isaiah chapter yeah. 30, Isaiah chapter 30, starting at one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be to be your shame and the trust of the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And that's you know, basically exactly what you're talking about, you know. And they, they're going to trust in Egypt or trust in the shadow of Egypt, which is America. They're going to trust the yeah. government of Esau. Right. And, and, so they, and, and, and I got no precept because, you know, hey, we on the hedges in the highways telling you not to accept it. Uh, the RFID microchip is the, uh, 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 the, the mark of the beast. But huh. uh, uh, in Numbers 4, uh, uh, 11 and 4, uh, the mixed multitude among them fell lusting, and the children of Israel went 
wept again and said, who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in ah, Egypt ah, freely for ah, the few numbers and the a leaf. You're going to slot you You're going to take right here. Oh, man, damn, man, that fish was delicious, brother. It was tender. Shit was coming off the motherfucking bone, and it's it, you could taste the smoky flavor. You know, Jake get descriptive, man. Right, man. Like, 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 oh, yeah. Jake, Jake be like, why can't I have another deep sea devil from Checkers, man? <laughs> <laughs> another, another two for three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three for five. Yeah, that three for five. <laughs> Hey, that big Buford is a motherfucker, man. They can't know what to do without it, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nina. Uh, but uh, but uh, in these times, it's going to be better that you not suck that chip and just, a hey, be without it. You know, hey, hey, hey. Hey, if you, if you so happen that you have to uh, and not eat, hey, just do it. God. You know, hey, your reward better on the other side than on this side. A little bit more. Our soul is dried away and there's nothing at all. Uh, 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 I ain't going to finish off on that because it's talking about the manner that the Most High gave them because when they wasn't eating, uh, 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 um, Time I when the Most High had uh, 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 brought us here to die, uh, 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 the Most High gave him manna. Right, right. Ain't your food, you know. Hey, right. you, you can't worry about what you're going to eat when 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 these times come. When these evil times come, hey, uh, uh, the Scripture said the Most High uh, 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 um, fed the birds. They need to weep no so, but yet right. He took care of them. You know, hey, you got to have some faith. You know, hey, hey, the most high take care of you also. Hey, I uh, hey, hey, I hey, Go ahead, Dua. Look, Dua, brother, you said you had to say something, brother. Now, I was just gonna say something real quick because of the mm. you know, land back and after uh, over right now. Because if our people, man, if there was into the scriptures like we was, they would they would follow after that, you know, take no thought of what you should eat or what you should wear and things of that nature. Because yeah. you know your how about shimmy all shy got your back, but this nigga love they white daddy. Uh, e yeah. niggas love they white daddy Esau so much. They they gonna rely on him for to give them everything. Uh, these, these oh, niggas, right, man. Right. Huh. And then let's see these niggas don't comprehend that um you no, know, he was talking the other day. Me and a brother, and we were just talking basically about the benefits of the Lord, man. Everybody saw worried yeah. about the benefits of this devil. You know, they like pacing two and four, trying to figure out what they're going to do. You know, while we're trying to keep up with the benefits of the Lord, because basically those are the benefits that's going to get you through um, through those hard times when nobody's able to eat food. You know, where you got look. We went to a truck the other day. It's not a truck to give out fruits and vegetables and stuff and, and little free items and stuff. And we just standing there, man. And you know, mind you, all of this stuff is free. And it's a lot of uh, Instacarites up there. A lot of jakes. You know, what I'm saying some free stuff. Let's take it. You know, um, let's mm -hmm. get it. You know, and they, and they had it organized because this was in the hood. And they got it organized to where everybody gets a number. They go and check in with this Edomite woman. Everybody gets a number. And they call you by that number. And the way they had it set up was everybody that received, like, the lady actually came a couple of um, numbers before us. You know, we was all the way in the hundreds, mind you. Uh, long mm -hmm. story short, was uh, she got so disappointed. Well, Mark, Mark, are you tell them what happened because you was you sitting right there when it happened. What? Uh, what? What? What story are you talking about? That um, black what? demon uh, talking about uh, at the at the at the truck the other day. Oh yeah. Getting yeah, yeah, at the uh pantry truck. Yeah, this black Show demon running. No, he's on the line right now, but uh, 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 I'm about to switch this back to him. You could join into the link. That it didn't work. You said uh, the call ended. 
Okay, I I'll send it again. Okay, to water. All right, come. Well, go ahead, Marco. So, Say that again. Uh, oh, um, uh, at this uh, at this at this uh, 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 uh now, uh, mind uh, you, uh, mind you, everybody, uh, uh, mind you, everybody uh, is getting free Detroit, food, they, right? So, back to basically, the the okay. the black demon bitch basically said, you know, because she was uh close to the end of the line because she came close to last, right? So what she what she ended up doing, what she ended up showing on my. Y'all about some y'all shy, about some kakudas brata. Y'all about some y'all shy, about some kakudas brata tam. So what the black demon woman ended up saying, because you know all these people was ahead of her, she was like, uh, she don't need this food anyway. And then she went in uh, onto a little rant about that. And then she was like, because she was mad that she was waiting so long, being that she came last, she was like I need to go home and get my gun. I don't got time for this. And it was like, bitch, you getting all this for free? Why ain't you waiting? You know, so right. and that's gonna be the spirit of Jake during these um during these horrible times as well because they ain't gonna want to wait to eat uh when the market of beats come out. Like mm. all I gotta do is take this um this chip and then I can go buy something to eat. What what am I waiting for? You know, because the black you know what? had no uh, patience. Can I can I uh uh grab a scripture for you? Right. Uh, and this is the spirit that Jake is in and that, that Jake is going to be in, you know, during that time. Um, and uh, pretty much uh, it, when, when, the, when the Lord was um, delivering the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, you had a bunch of niggas that was that was amongst them, man. Just how you got a bunch of niggas that are amongst us today, man. And, and death to that nigga spirit, man. All, All right. right? Because all it, all of them, you you jakes that are out there that are in that spirit, you're gonna be in that. The, you're gonna take the chip. God, you know, God. you're not in the spirit of of being patient. And the scripture, the scripture said, "In your patience, possession your soul." So this is uh, the book of Numbers eleven and four. It says, "In the mixed multitude that was among them, fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again, uh, and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat?'" We remember the fish, which we did that's, eat in Egypt freely, yeah, the cucumbers, true. the melons, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic, you know? So niggas is going to say, man, I remember the, the po' boy sandwiches I was able to eat, yeah. all right, the ramen noodles, all right, the, um, which is, which is high in sodium, you know, the, uh, the Popeye's Popeye's chicken. All right, yeah. uh, and, and a lot of them Popeyes chicken, man. They don't they don't meet the um uh, the 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 grade of of F, uh, you know the uh, FDA approval, man. Uh -huh. Just like the uh, the one here in Detroit where where the woman went around filming and it went national. The, she yeah. was feeling how nasty and disgusting it is, and people want won't gonna want to have want that back. You know the ability yeah. to, to to eat those things, man. Yeah, so so gonna niggas is going to take that chip just so that they can eat some Popeye's chicken, you know, with some maggots. Yeah, yeah they want that swine, yeah. brother. Give them the chicken nuggets. They need the nuggets, dog. And they need that, 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 pork, that yeah. my lady that was going crazy in the drive-thru for, uh, for, for some chicken nuggets, man. Cracking the window, acting a fool. I don't know if y'all seen that video. But that oh, was, yeah, that, I see. Just, you see that, man? That demon was acting crazy as fuck in the drive-thru. For some oh. nuggets, man. Oh, so, so like, I, I thought you were talking about the video of the bitch uh, swerving on the uh, on the uh, the freeway, and the guy called the cops. He like, man, it's a woman that's drunk driving. You know, I, I'm I'm afraid for her for her safety and for the for the safety of others. And and it turns out she was just dunking her chicken nuggets, man, swerving all over the road. You can't even <laughs> you couldn't wait until afterwards. <laughs> Right. Hey, I got, they, I got they, another. They, I got another scripture. They can multitask, brother. They can't even. They can't dip your nuggets and drive. You know, just to think, man, that's a drug, though. That goes to show you that this shit that they call food is a motherfucking drug. This is witchcraft, sorcery, all right? 
and they got it, you attached in a spiritual way. Yeah, it is beyond some having nutrients in it. This shit is absence of all nutrients. That's a drug, man. It ain't have it don't have benefits on your body, only break your body down. Your body gotta replace the lack of nutrients that you have by taking it from other sources in your body. That's why these niggas can't see straight, can't hear shit. You know, their mind is corrupted and their pineal gland is calcified. How you eating you taking these drugs, man? Uh, you saw what happened all the way, man. So now you're depending on him, man. Like you said, it's a drug. So when you bring it, you're going willingly take it. Come on, come on. All right. Come on, Elder. It's um, Revelation 14 8. Because like I said earlier, this is what happened through the um, two girls. A lot of people, you so called Negro, like Dale Day Americans, take this trip, man. Lord said he's gonna destroy you, man. All right, this is uh, Revelation 14 and 8. It says, And there follows another angel, and Babylon is fallen, is fallen in that great city, which is America. America. Yeah, man. All right, let's have a line. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. And the third angel follows, yeah, saying, with uh, our voice. That's a slow death, too. I had a hey, freeze I, up real quick. They're going to justify, gonna justify the chip, man. Nah, niggas be, niggas be, you know, it ain't what goes out your mouth or goes in your mouth is what comes out. Like, they uh, uh, try to justify the pork and shit. They're going to try to justify the microchip, man. Like you know? Jake say, like Jake say now, it don't matter what hand to go in. It, it got to be, uh, you can put it in any hand. That's the same shit Jake say now. Uh, it can be. I got a precept real quick off of that. Well, it- you got you got uh them saying that it's Christianity. You got them saying that it's everything, but what what the definition, you know, of um the the word karagma and the word stigma. All right. The uh what what is the other one in the in the Hebrew? Uh, quite quite. You know, all all of all of the the definitions of of those three words fits what's known today as the RFID chip. But you you got niggas pushing that is that is uh Christianity, man. All right, yeah, it's madness. Hard. And that's and that's them trying to justify uh, uh receiving the RFID chip. So when that right. RFID chip does come around and Esau makes it mandatory that they that they'll be free from guilt, but they're not free from guilt because they're gonna receive that judgment that's spoken about in Revelation the fourteenth chapter. Right, because that's just their way of making excuses to justify themselves. Right. Yeah, that's what hey, that's what happens when you live a lie. You gotta justify yourself because everybody else is gonna look they're not gonna be convinced, man. All right. Uh go ahead, Ari Yeah, you, you had a scripture, bro? Yeah, this is Isaiah twenty two and fourteen. For and it was revealed in my in my ears mm. by the by the Lord Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah of host. Surely, well, I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at uh, verse thirteen. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. And that's the spirit Jake is in, and they're gonna be in that same spirit when the RFID chip comes. They're gonna be in that same moment. Oh, let's just eat and drink. We have the moment to eat and drink. Uh, Right now, that's all Jake want to do. They want to eat and drink and, and party, no matter what come, no matter what cost comes with it. No matter if it, if you take the RFID chip or not, as long as Jake can eat and has food, they don't care. Right, this, Jake this, just care about their comfort. Yeah, this verse and, and the RFID chip is gonna be as a comfort unto some of these niggas, man. Right. This is verse fourteen, and it, yeah, kind of, and it was revealed in my. Ears by the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai of hosts. This iniquity shall not 
be purged from from you till they die, says the Lord Yahweh by Shimei al of hope. So Jake has to die. The Lord Yahweh by Shimei al has to kill these niggas. The, right. the two-thirds of the nation of Israel have to go because they the two-thirds going to take the RFID chip. So the Lord has to destroy them. And the two-thirds that, yeah. that don't and just, just get mowed down, that's the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Right. But y'all right. got this it. Is this is a privileged thing that to have, to have this word. This is uh, this is First Samuel, First Samuel fifteen and twenty-two. It says that Samuel said, "Has the Most High as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh." It says, "Behold, to obey." So to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. So like your hearken, then burnt. Then the hearken as uh, then the hearken the fat of rams. It says for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness uh, is as the iniquity of idolatry. And right now, getting that chip or taking all of these different um, demonic creations that this devil brings out, it fills you with unclean spirits, man. Like that chip itself, man. When people get that chip, it's not going to be any more rational mind. Having um on and off rational mind, they're going to be on one mindset. Because it's everybody, when you get that chip, you choose your side. All right? And when you choose your side... It's already done and over with. You're going to have it. Remember those old, um, what was those movies? Uh, the little Christian movie with Kirk Cameron called Left Behind and shit. How the people received the chip. And they and the people that had the chip looked at other people that didn't have the chip as a threat. And they would immediately call the authorities on their asses, man. Because they hmm. chose their side. All right, right now, you got cats that may listen, and then they might choose the world. You know, they're not ready to come into it, or they want to pick and choose what they want to believe. And that day, they're not going to believe anything that's rational. Yeah. Uh, all the rationality amongst them is going to fail because they chose their side. All right, I got um, a precept. This is Judith, chapter 8, verse 9. Now, when she heard the evil words of the people against the governor, that they fainted for lack of water, for Judith had heard all the words of Ozias had uh, spoken unto them, that they had sworn to deliver the city into the Assyrians after five days. Now, I read this because it is an example of how Jake is going to be. Jake is going, as soon as Jake going to eat for, actually for a couple of hours, Jake is going to faint, and they're going to be ready to give everything to Esau, you know? And in this example, and in this example of Judith, they, they was ready to give it up. And, and basically, Judith uh, rebuked them because she was actually a woman that feared the Lord. Because they ain't trying to big up no uh, women or nothing. But she was a woman that feared the Lord, and she had to uh, set them straight back in their right minds. It's like um, uh, jumping down to the twelfth uh, verse, and now who are ye that have tempted? The, that have tempted the power this day and stand instead of the power among the children of men. And now try the the uh, power almighty, but ye shall never know anything. For ye cannot find the depth of his heart, of, of for ye cannot find the depth of the heart of men, neither can ye perceive the things that he thinketh. Now, then how can ye search out the power that hath made all things and know his mind or comprehend mm. his purpose. Nay, mm. my brethren, provoke not the Lord our power to anger. So basically, she was rebuking them like, look, man, if the Lord is going to save us, you know, when you read down, if the Lord is going to save us, he's going to save us. If he's going to kill us, he's going to kill us. But our job is to wait uh, to see what he does. Trust know? in the Lord. Come, yeah. just trust in him. Because yeah. this, hey, this is the test, you know. Yeah. It's like the brother I not said uh, earlier, in your patience, uh, and your patience possess you your soul. And Jake is not patient. That's why two thirds of Jake gotta go. They were they were fucking right. when you read Judah says like we'll wait three days. And if the Lord don't look deliver us in three days, we're gonna be yeah, those five days. 
He he said, five uh, days. Yeah, if the Lord don't deliver us in five days, we go uh do what this uh captain of the Assyrians say. Like, There's no like, no faith. Man, He's like, man, don't tempt the Lord. If the Lord gonna save us, he's gonna save us. Yeah. You know. All right, I got and, a precept. Yeah. Right, you don't mind. All right, this is Psalm ninety-four, Psalm ninety-four and seven. It says, Yet they say, Yahweh shall not see, neither shall the most high Jacob regard it. Understand ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? Because they think that they have it set up in their own mind. You know, you have a lot of cats too that have it set in their mind that they don't want to do just like their grandfather and their grandmother did. They don't want to wait until the sixties and they start serving the Lord. You know, or be, they think they're gonna be called when they uh, after they do all the wicked and, and um, enjoy uh, a, some wickedness for for a season. You know, it says, uh, "He that planted the ear shall he not hear; shall he not see." It says, He that chastens, he that shall he not correct, and he that, um, and he that teacheth man knowledge shall he not know. It says, The most high knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. All right, so the vanity that they have stuck in their mind right now, which is just wickedness, all right, or evilness. Hey, we get a bad echo, you know, so one of our game got to uh, catch your volume. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so basically all of this, this, this wickedness that they delight in right now, all right, like it says, they know uh, the thoughts of man that they are vanity. All right, all of these thoughts that they have right now. Oh, 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 the Marcus Cousins went to the Warriors. Man, that's vanity. Who gives a fuck, man? All right, you so busy worried about the next team. That I hope Michigan, I hope the Wolverines beat the Spartans and all of this silly mess, man. That's your mind right now. All of that shit is really vanity because that's entertainment, man. All right, we can we we, we continue to be occupied in these prophecies, but we see what's taking place with the Amazon Gold Plus store. I I, I mess with Amazon. I order a lot of stuff offline. But you think I'd be down to just walk up in the store because of convenience and get a chip in my hand so I can grab some shit off the shelf and just walk out? Right. God damn, they already got self-check. What else you want, man? You got the self-checkout at Walmart and different places, man. That ain't enough for you lazy niggas, man. Now I got to have a chip in my hand so I can get my pork rind, my barbecue flavored pork rinds and go out the door without being harassed and shit. Maybe right. Trayvon Martin would have been still alive if he had that chip in his hand, huh? Man, get out of here. Hey, hey, so like you, I got I to gotta, I gotta scripture y'all talking about the vein, like uh, <laughs> the connotation being vain. Damn. Yeah, uh, Psalm, chapter one, Psalm chapter one, verse one, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh in the, not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. I'm kind of late, I don't know what I mean, but I've had to get in there. Uh, 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 I the the they, they got a bad conversation, man. And our, 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 our whole, our whole thing is, of course, brothers, like you know, you might sidetrack, you know, some, you know, some bullshit, uh, worldly stuff. But for the most part, our conversation is about the kingdom, man, and uh, getting the fuck mm. money. Right. I got yeah, a right. precept. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, Sirach two and ten. Look at the generation of old and see that. Did any trust in Yahweh and Yahshua to found it? Nor did any abide in this fear was forsaken. Or who did he ever despise that called upon? We gotta have faith and hope that Yahweh and Yahshua delivers in the evil times. This is the full. For for the yeah, I was so compassionate and loving, and forgiving of sins and saving the time of affliction. Hey, I got, got the T pain going. This is the biggest affliction now. <laughs> you know, whenever RFID microchip that come out, 
uh, uh, when they force you to get it, you can't buy or, or sell anything with it or without it. You know, this going to be a major affliction on people's souls because you ain't going to be able to eat unless you have that chip. That's right. I, and I the men of y'all, I got something real quick. And Dan used this quick, quick example, like because the brother brought out the scripture. Look at the generation of old, and this and this is one of those scriptures when you look at the generation of old, because during mm. the time of never Nebuchadnezzar. they they said they said they said. Well, I'll just read it. This is Daniel's. Uh, one uh Daniel's three and verse and verse eleven and whosoever well I'll start at uh ten and thou O king has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sack, uh sack, uh but uh what's this Austri and the the drummers and of all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And that's the same thing the so-called white man is doing now with this RFID chip. He's going to come for you and if and you're going to have to uh, give up give up your rights really to the so-called white man. You're giving up everything to the so-called white man. You're becoming a slave like the scriptures say. You're getting hit you're giving up with your, that you're brain. Giving up your birthright. Esau yeah. is always trying to get that birthright back. You know? So what does he do? He made Jake sell their soul, you know? Look at that new Travis Scott album. It's called uh, Something World. I don't know. But on the cover of it, it got Travis Scott. It's a gold image of his, of his head, of this nigga's head and shit, you know? Yes. And that that, shit. Uh, it, it Astro World or something like that. Some, and that's the same shit. album he did that 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 blasphemous video was uh, stop trying to be God. That, that, yeah. that nigga shit. Stop uh, trying to be God. You know what I'm saying? That's so they had that um what are they doing? These 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 artists are idols, man. Yeah. You know? And they all in competition to get some gold. Like you see Cat Williams recently got an Academy Award and shit. You know, they all trying to get these gold idols. And they and in return, when they get these gold idols, people worship them as idols. Like they like they made out of gold or something, man. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of those uh artists, you know, they're they're set up to uh divide di divert the mind of Jake. You know, that's the reason why you got that word entertainment, which means to divert the mind. You know, they're set up to keep these people in Babylon sleep while, while, the, while the men behind the curtain, you know, perform their different agendas, you know, to set up their new world order, you know, to bring about the mark of the beast. And, and, and like you said, a, the mark of the beast is, is Esau trying to, you know, to uh, force, the, force the covenant on the left-hand side, you know, that's the reason why you got those different miracles that he can do. You know, uh, the elder in Mississippi, uh, the elder Kazakh just did a video on that. But then uh, also, uh, one of you out here mentioned, you know, to uh, look at the, the generation of old. And uh, we learned from, you know, the, 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 the seven brothers and the mother in the book of Maccabees that were tempted. All right. They went through a trial period, you know, and, and were forced to... Um, to endure suffering and affliction, you know, because they didn't want to eat pork, you know. But this time, you know, the devil is going to try to force you to uh, to eat that RFID chip and not to literally, you know, eat it, but to take it within your body, you know, to put it within your body. And uh, the scripture says in um, Revelations 3 and 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will, I will the, my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come on all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And when you look up the word temptation, the word there in the Greek is uh, uh, paros, paros, parosmos, and it says an experiment, a trial proving, a trial proving the trial made of, uh, of you by uh, my bodily condition, uh, since conditions serve as a test to, to the love of the Galatians towards Paul, uh, let me just jump down. It says, an enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstances. All right, so these outward circumstances and these conditions that we're going to have to go through is just a child period. 
to prove our faith in Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. Do you really believe that the Lord is going to deliver you? You know, do you trust in the words that you learned through the Holy Spirit from the apostles and elders? All right, do you trust in the words that's within the book? All right, do you really believe that Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai is going to perform the words that he that he um that he that spoken within his book? You know. A, the, the seven brothers and the mother did. That's the reason why they they spoke and and they did. The, hey, they were they were really cussing um, Antiochus out. You know, as he was tormenting them. You know, saying, "Hey, look, and hey, you do all you doing all of this wicked shit to us." But guess what? Hey, who's gonna save you when you stand before the Most High Heavenly Father? You know, who's gonna deliver you? Hey, you're gonna be tormented. You're gonna get fucked up because that's exactly what's gonna happen to Esau. But if you maintain your integrity. And you trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, the Lord will deliver you. And even if you have to suffer a death, an honorable death, hey, the Lord is still going to deliver you because you're going to raise up, all right? Because there's a such thing as a resurrection, and you're going to be the first on those chariots, man. Okay. All right, I got, uh, I got more in the Daniels. Let me, let me finish Daniels real quick. This is Daniels 3 and verse 16, Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the to the to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we we are not careful to answer answer thee on this matter. If thou be if 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 it be so our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, he will deliver us out of thy, thy hands, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set, set up. So they were they were willing to die rather than rather than fucking serving the golden image, rather than bowing down to never can I think somebody's Yes, echoing that. Uh, anybody got a computer running or some some other kind of device running? I think it's I know every time somebody talks, it goes on my phone. Okay. Try try turning your volume down just a little bit. Okay, Kai. And Shalom, Elder Karab. Yeah, Shalom, Come yeah, yeah, I had, I had a script Brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, for example, of suffering of affliction and patience. And behold, we count them happy with the patience of Job and have sent the end of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai 
that Yahweh is very pitiful and tender in mercy. Yeah, so They don't have faith on this side, so they're gonna be destroyed. All right, and in that destruction, they're gonna have to come back in the kingdom. All right, because faith is the key to unlocking this inheritance, man. If we if we have faith until the end, whether that be by martyrship or, or until the period of time, whatever your lot is, you know, whatever the most high lot is, we can't please Yahweh and Yahweh's child without faith, man. This is necessary for us to transcend into the, the next kingdom, man. You know that that they don't understand the seriousness of having faith. That's necessary. That's all we have in the end. We ain't got nothing else to show. What you gonna do when they cash you out your house? What you gonna do when you can't eat shit? You know, you think you're doing bad now? You just gonna have nothing but faith. And through that faith, we're gonna make sure we eat. But those that don't have faith, we're gonna be messed up like them in Venezuela, eating out the trash and shit. You know. Eating human flesh and shit like that because they're gonna have they have a desire into that flesh. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I got precept for you. That, that that happened many times in, in in history. You know when uh the land of Israel was uh besieged. You know and um there was there was uh armies that came up against it. Like for an example, uh, during uh, seventy A.D. When you read the uh, the account of seventy A.D. in the book of Josephus. You know, it gives you an account of um, a people were raiding people's house. Uh, Israelites were raiding a, each other's houses if they seen what just appeared as a shadow of food. But there was an account of a woman who uh, who, who killed her baby, and and she and she ate half of it, and she saved the other half for for uh, the the people that were robbing and pillaging. And when they when they went to um, cause they you know they smell food. And when they went to eat the eat the eat the uh the baby, you know, I'm I'm sorry, when when um they went to go and get the food, you know, she was like, Look, you know, I ate half of it and I saved half of it for you. And and the and the people and they felt fucked up after that. You know, hey, cannibalism is coming back, man. You gonna have um uh men, women uh and eat, eating their children, you know? Because they don't they don't put faith in your how about Shimmy I was shy, man. They hey people hey that's the reason why brothers need to be in the spirit of fasting and praying man all right so that you can you you can be and you can be um hey when those, when those times come hey you can go uh, hey the, the average person can't go three hours without eating food man right. four four to five hours without eating food you'll be able to go a day and two you'll be able to go three days four days man but 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 you don't have. People eating their children for the for the lack of bread. Yep, they already doing it in Venezuela, man. That's I, I got a, a video. Uh, I repost that, man. All right, now they had that video that was on YouTube about the man in his cell eating another man, and the motherfuckers not even fucking dead yet. That man was partially alive, and he's munching on him. And they showing him. that shit wasn't the bad. That didn't have a, a, a million views on YouTube. That video, the, the original live, it was the, the original feed I got it from was off of a, 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 a it's a car right page and it was in all Spanish. So you know it ain't getting no views like that. All right. I got, I got a precept for y'all too about the family. No, my fault. Um, this is uh second Second Kings chapter um chapter six verse uh twenty two. I mean twenty six. It said, as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall. They cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee out of the barnyard, out of the winepress? And the king said unto her, 
what a life thee? And she answered, uh, this woman said unto me, give thy son that we may eat him today and we may eat him my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she said, and she had uh, hid her son. And say, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth within uh, upon his flesh. So, yeah, that, that just goes into what y'all talking about, man, about how, um, you know, there's going to be there's gonna be famines coming back. All right. Just like how uh, one of the brothers mentioned about Venezuela. All right. Them people over there, man, uh, which those are Israelites, all right, by the way. They're over there uh, eat, 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 eating uh, animals. It's like out, out of the zoos, man. And that was those was articles from, uh, that was coming up a couple of uh, months ago, man. So ain't no telling what they're doing now. More than likely, it's probably cannibalism. I, right. I got something for you real quick, Doc. This is Isaiah 9 and 20. And he, shall, mm-hmm. uh, and he shall stretch out the right hand, on the right hand and be hungry. And, and he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own own arm. Beautiful. Manasseh yeah. and Ephraim, Ephraim, Manasseh, and they together shall be against Judah. For all the anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So the Lord's anger is stretched out still upon his nation. That's why a man is going to look at his right hand and be like, "I'm right-handed." And you're like, I don't use my left hand that much and eat it, man. Like they show mm-hmm. in the road when they, when, uh, mm-hmm. they came up on the Jake and he, he had nuns for his finger because he'd eat his own hand. Mm-hmm. It, that's how bad the famine is going to get. It, it's going to even get worse than it was in Israel when they was killing, selling, what was it, bird shit for food? Hurry up. Yep. This is this, that same chapter, Ock. Right? <laughs> uh, mm hmm. What was that again? What was the chapter? Hey, I, they was eating. They was eating. Nick, niggas was eating each other's ears in Venezuela. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. No. I, yeah. 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 That was, that was, that was still was, alive. When the dude was still alive, man. Yeah. They busted him in his head with a bludgeon object. My man, they were just filming my man's lunching on him. You know, like the motherfucker, like well, he made an Oscar Mayer bologna and shit. Mm. It's gonna be a lot of them. Uh, what's that? What's that nigga's name? Oh, who who was that killer? That Je- it's gonna be a lot of Jeff- Jeffrey Dahmer, huh? killing yep. people and eating. Yep, yep. eating that- ass and shit. That's why they make. That's why they make the movies like that. Ass meat on some white bread. They ass meat on some white bread. Make some ass meat on some white bread. They break somehow still think that this is a joke, and they don't understand the fear of the Lord. You know. Yeah. Hey, wait, what the Lord say? You laugh at them when they come at each other, man. Yeah, comes right hey, this, out. Is a, this is a big movie for the most high. You understand? This is his movie. If you got to play guy eating a raw, uh, another person um, decapitated head and ass, that's your role. You know, when the script comes at the end, when they show everybody's name and the role, like Thug 1, uh, Lottery Store Owner 2, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Right. You got to be the guy that ate uh, another man's face Number three, that's your that's that's the role that you called to play. Number three, yeah, <laughs> that was your number script. Three, you ain't the first one. The first one got some screen time. You know that's what you did. You ain't one of the pieces, but that's coming back in style, man. This is that's what you called to do. This is what you called. This is the role that you called to play. Now, this is what we got to deal with, man. Even as our role. You thought we walked up and said, "Hey, man, you know what? We had aspirations too. I want I want to be uh." Warrior number at least number three, god damn it. He said that wasn't his will. Most I said, Hey, you know what? Back back with all of that. This is what I have set aside for you to do, and here we are to this very day, pushing his word, man, and loving it. He loved it. I'm glad hey, I man, got a man. preset for you, Art. Right, go ahead. Salaki, so like uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It says, Man's goings are, are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? <clears throat> You got it, man. I mean, you want to at least be warrior 144,000 or 143,999. That's right. Then your chances is dismal. Or the one third, you know, be a part of that. Yeah, if you're part of the one third, but that that can be up in the air because now uh, you you, you leaving it up to something else. You leaving it up to chance. So you try to be at least 144. 
you know, because mm-hmm. if yeah. you are if you're not uh, part of that one third, which you leaving up the chance, then hey, yeah, shit. Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Russian roulette. Shit. I got some real quick. This is a uh, uh, Saint John fifteen to sixteen. Ye have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that that whatsoever <laughs> you shall ask of the Father in my name, he shall he shall give it. So wait a minute, the Lord, the Christians, didn't the Christians say that uh all you gotta do is uh accept sweet Jesus and you can be saved? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that ain't what the hey. Hey, it says, uh, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. The Lord or, right. or, or, right. the Lord or, ordained us, just like the wicked was ordained. I got some. I got some real quick just to prove that the Lord ordained all this. This is a Jew uh, one and four. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to to this condemnation. Go so ahead. whatever yeah, whatever position you, right. you get, whatever your lot is, that's been ordained from the beginning. All Go the way ahead. from the beginning, the most high has set the script for, for his movie. He set it up to for like the brother said, for you to be the person to eat somebody else's asshole, man. You 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 <laughs> that's it. that's what you set up to do, man. That's what the Lord has set you up to do. If you hey, got, got, it might not be the best role, <laughs> damn it, but it might be cast call. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the <laughs> Lord. You can't get out of that role. You know, you can't cut everybody. Oh, can't do it. Hey, Ezekiel had to eat shit, so, hey. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so whatever, whatever your role is in this movie, you can't fight against it. Like you say in Romans, the Lord has the power over the uh the over the clay. Powder he's in the one, clay. Yep, yeah. he's the one who controls all this, man. Whatever your ro- Re- role is, you gonna play it. Real Just quick, like got movie. one. Got one for you, like real quick. Uh, Jer- Jeremiah chapter ten verse twenty three. It say, "O oh Lord, I know that the way of men is not in Himself. It is not in men that walketh to direct His steps." Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> yep. hey, Ooh, I got something for you. Real nothing quick, special. Guys. Hey, nothing that we did so special. <laughs> And we went yeah. about this our way. This was all orchestrated that happened, man. Yep. Every, every turn, you know what I'm saying? Every obstacle, obstacle that the Most High brought us over, all this was set up by him. And guess what? Wow. He's, and he's been interested. This is a good movie, man. This is a good yep. movie. This is a movie I would love to look back at in the kingdom if I could. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, rewinding. Great I- movie. I, I got some right off of that out for you. This is a uh, this is a uh, Job twenty three, and and verse thirteen. But he is of one in one mind, and who can turn him? And what his soul desires, even even that he, he doeth, for he performeth the things that is appointed for me, and much such things are with him. Therefore, I am troubled at his presence when when I considered it. I I am afraid of him because Job knew he had no control over his life. It was all up to the Most High. It was all up to the Heavenly Father for for what for what he to do. He said in verse fourteen, he said he played, he he performed the things that is appointed for me. So if it's appointed for you to go left, right, upside down, it's Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is going to perform that. It, it, they know free willness. The man man's goings are of the Lord. Yeah, that was right. beautiful. Right. Um, I got a quick precept. This is Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did not, but that they did evil before mine eyes and chose that which I delighted not. Now he said he chose he chose their delusions, but he also chose them not to hear it, not to hear and not to listen. So yeah. hey, he, he chose everything. Right. That, that's the role that they were meant to right. play yep. in the first yeah. place. Uh, I got something yeah, yeah, for you, too. And that's a scary role to have to play. Son, a hey, as a, play. hey, that's a fearful role, man. You know, that's your role. You got to play the role of the guy that can't see the kid. 
can't well, get like right. Judas. You gotta play. Hey, you gotta play. Can't get right without without getting the heat of my. You know. Right. <laughs> I got something for you real quick. This is Joel 12 and 15. With him, his strength and wisdom and the deceived and the deceiver are his. God. God. Hey, that's beautiful. Hey, that's beautiful. Joel was on it, man. Joel was playing. You know? Yeah. He played about a major role in that movie, man. God, God this is um, uh, just to... Just, uh, um, you know, a lamb, lamb back off the Akium, you know, that's been bringing out those precepts about how the most mm -hmm. heavenly father direct our ways. All right, this is uh, Psalms 139 and 1. It says, O Yahweh, thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my downsetting and my uprising. Thou understanding my thoughts are far off. So the most heavenly father, hey, he understand our thoughts before they even are in our minds. Why? Because he put them there. It says, thou compassest my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Yahweh, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, it is high. I cannot attain it. And hey, the scriptures say that a fool cannot attain it to, unto knowledge because it's too high, you know? And, and you know, here it is, hey, this... That, that's the reason why hey, when you tell guys or, or you tell anybody that the Most High Heavenly Father had already had it set up for them to perform or do whatever they, they were doing that day, they can't believe it. They can't comprehend it. It says, whether shall I go from thy spirit or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. You know? So mm -hmm. the, the most high heavenly father guides our ways. That's the reason why in the book of Job, you know, it, it tells you, uh, I want to say it's Job 30, 30, uh, 33 and 15. That's it right. says in the, in the, uh, when, when, when you're dreaming upon your bed, when you're in the deep vision of the night, hey, the most mm -hmm. heavenly father sent of your instructions, man. The most right. heavenly father is already downloading into your mind, into your psyche, and programming you what to do. You know? Right. So it ain't it ain't nobody out there that 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 can say that they have freedom from the most heavenly father. You know, yeah. that they're just doing their own thing. You know, no, nobody has uh, liberty or free will, man. That's it. That's something that was that was a false teaching from Esau, man. Because that's the delusion that Esau is under. Yeah. That, uh, everybody got free will. Do it thy will. That's why they can become an atheist uh, until they find out that the Heavenly Father hates their ass. God. Right. Yeah, we think that shit a lot. You uh, know, they got that... Uh, Heart prize, you know, this is our busiest time of the whole year, man. Every year they bring that heart prize around. You got thousands upon thousands of, of devils and organizations uh, and evils that come from all around the world, man. To come to this little motherfucker, man. And then, man, you know, it should be wild as hell. You know, it's like a, it's like a wildfire. That one dry ass devil with the dry skull ass devil. Once he catch on fire, the rest of these devils catch on fire because, hey man, when they're in a large crowd, they feel like, you know, they actually feel like that delusion that, that's on their mind, they actually, they play their role well. The devil plays the best bad guy, you know? Mm -hmm. And not knowing that, you know, they have an I end that's going to be state, man, it's going to be something else to see a look on their face. And they really get mad at that time. Like, it'd be a hundred people around us sometimes, like, I was like 50 or something sometimes, sometimes, and it gets so intense because they hear they don't have salvation. Two thirds of people hear that they don't have to die, and that makes them angry at us, you know, which in return they're really angry with the most high, so we're going to repay them with destruction. All right, but uh, I got Psalms 91 and 5, if you don't mind. Um, it says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor for the arrow that uh, that flies by day, 
Right, and that day of destruction is coming to end. All right, we have faith in y'all about some of y'all shine his word. So we understand that whatever happens in that day, whether he deliver us or whether we be a martyr, you know, we don't really care those things anymore. The more, the longer that we end this, and we push this word and we hurt these righteous acts, the stronger our spirit is prepared for this day to come, man. You got cats, it's like getting hit in your stomach off guard and getting the wind knocked out of you. I would at least like to brace myself. You know what I'm saying? You should sit up and shit. You know, I got, I got one. I got one. You know, work yourself up so we can spiritually and 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 um mentally uh be be held together through these things because it's gonna unwind your mind. The things I got one for you. I got one uh, for you. Like, yeah, um, um, the elder want to come out with a precept right quick. Okay, Go ahead, um, elder. Say shalom, me how about you? Okay. Shalom, 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 the waterfall let me tune in, y'all. Like, Kakan, Lord willing, we do another one. Shalom, y'all. Keep keep going hard, y'all. Shalom. Shalom. Keep pushing the truth, brother. I got a quick piece of Daniel 4 and 17. By the decree of the watchers and the man by the word of the holy ones, holy ones, and that the living know that the most high ruler, the kingdom of men, and give it to whoever he will, and he set it up over the bases of men. Hmm. And cut hey, this kingdom is going down. Yeah. It's a you know, hey, the man is working things right now, but hey, it's going down. This kingdom is doing, uh, uh, it's going down the drain right now. Uh, circling the drain. Yeah. That was the comedian George Carlin that said that. He said America's yeah. circling the drain. You know, I was like, damn, I remember that too, man. And I used to do that Bill and Ted fan and shit back in the day. You looking at that, all that shit? But George Carlin was a, a, was a good comedian. And that's why, you know, a lot of people to, to this day, they think that, you know, uh, allegedly he may have been taken out because, because you know, the things that he was saying at the time, you know, you didn't have a lot of comedians on that platform saying those things, you know? So get to a point where, you know, they get up in their age and they know so much, they just don't care no more, you know? And they're ready for that. And that's pretty much what we are now. We're basically at the point where we age in the spirit enough to understand that, hey, Whatever happens, happens in this thing, man. In the end, it's all about what our role is 
and doing what y'all boxing y'all shot has ordained for us. I just want to play that role the best I can. Whatever role it is, you know what I'm saying? I just want to play. We all trying to play the best that we possibly can. You know? But then again, we all trying to, you know, the elect is working for that, what would they say, that spiritual Oscar. You know what I'm saying? We get all, we get our Oscar in the kingdom, man. You know? We're not looking for no little bald-headed ass Edomite statue on this side. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't even made of gold. That shit, you know, that's, that's what the joke is. They do all that wickedness to get that one idol statue, and they don't do shit with it. All they do is sit up on their mansion, you know, with some cheap-ass trophy that they made somewhere. You know, it's a bunch of bullshit, man. Right. I mean, Jake on this side, they really just want um recognition from Esau, but they don't realize that they better than Esau. And then when you tell them that they better than Esau, they don't want to hear it. They want to um cuss you out and tell them that they above Edomites, you know? Yeah, I dare you tell me I'm a king, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, you know what, man? That's all right. If you want to be a nigga, then you go ahead and be a nigga, man. I'm not going to stop you from being a nigga. Uh, and then, uh, and then you, turn on a, uh, you, you turn on RT News, and you see them laying down on the ground with with a, uh, with seven Edomite foots on their back, you know? <laughs> hey, that's but, but here it is. <laughs> but, but here it is. You know, uh, they didn't, they didn't want to be an Israelite. But they rather be in Esau's society and let Esau trample all over them. You know, these people, that's the reason why hey, the scripture says this in uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, it's Isaiah 1 and 5. All right, because hey, Jake would rather be a slave. All right, they love, they love, um, they love captivity. Uh, let me see. Salaki, so, so I'm, I'm going to find it. Right, because I mean, it's not just that they love captivity. It's Jake be loves being lazy and not doing shit. Jake loves not having responsibility because you know, I mean, I, I, I figure Jake don't want to be an Israelite because now he got a responsibility. He got he got a duty to uphold if he's an Israelite. But if he's just a black or an African American, he can just be a nigga in the United States. Just a random yeah. nigga that don't have to do shit that uh, Esau can take care of. Yeah, J Jake loves, they love oppression. You know, they love being under Esau. You know, yeah. this is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is, is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? You know? Yeah. Jake, Jake ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, um, we're really, we're, we're supposed to be the ones that are on top, man. Jake don't have no, no ruling class mentality. They don't have no desire to be in power or to rule the world. They'd rather be under Esau, you know, which goes into what you said. Yeah, Jake doesn't love, they don't like responsibility, man. You know, but also they're, they're trimming their ways to seek love. Like I said, um, later on in the same chapter. In uh, the 30, 33rd verse, they want right. to be accepted of all of these other nations that hate them, man. Right. Right. No, so they'll they'll stoop to the lowest of the low just to be accepted of Esau. Right. And they uh, and they um and Jake actually proved that uh, during uh what in Second Samuel I believe it was when they're like uh, make us a king and Samuel's like hey what uh, the heavenly Father the Most High is your king what the hell are you talking about. Kind of about hey, we want a king like the other nations, and we ain't we ain't like the other nations. Fuck the other nations, you know. Hey, our heritage is better than hey man, y'all let these niggas, man. You let them go ahead and, and please they slave master brothers. <laughs> let them go ahead and make Uncle Esau happy. All right, that's what they did in their past life. They were some two plus clan member house niggas, hey, man. Let these house uh, niggas uh, be uh, incarnated uh, and please they master, man. Oh. I, I can't believe y'all, brothers, man. Does not brother. <laughs> hey, for real. They came back in the reincarnation as that same Uncle Tom, Tomahawk, and Tamale right. that they were back in the day. That's the same shit that they are today. That's why they got to be destroyed, man. That what they were, man. It was hard on them, man. You know? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I care about them. That's why they, they had such a... Because uh, for the most high... Not to show you that he's coming back to do this destruction and, and, and to cause you not to believe. Didn't he harden Pharaoh's heart? He hardened Pharaoh's heart just so he can display his power. I was reading that to my um 
my children, uh, what was it, last night, man? You know? Uh, he hardened Pharaoh's heart just so he can display his power to the world. How uh, much more some monkey-ass niggas, man? Okay? Time. Hey, well, hey, he's hardening Esau's heart. Hey, like it says in uh, uh, Romans, like it says in Romans, uh, the ninth chapter, verse 17, it says, For the scripture saith, Unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee, and that uh, that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. You know, so the most family father has set Esau, you know, Edom, to rule in these last days. And through Esau, Edom, the most family father is going to declare his power and make his name uh, known, man. All right, when he take them down, you know, because he's hardening Esau heart the same way. That's the reason why the scripture tells you, you know, uh, in the time that their iniquity had an end. You know, here it is. Our, our iniquity and our captivity is over, but Esau is still keeping us here, man. He, right, he, right. he refusing to let us go. Right. And guess what? And he even wants to RFID chip some of us and put to death the rest of us. You know, right. so what does that tell you? That, that that tells you that the same thing is going on, all right? right. And what, what did the most heavenly father do in Egypt? That's the reason why in the book of uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, you know, it tells you that the Lord is going to visit Egypt again with plagues. That's not talking about that dusty ass uh, uh, sand field place that's over in the Middle East, man. Right. All right, that was that was uh, uh, ruled by Hamites until they were taken down by Edomites, and now you got uncircumcised Arabs living in the land, man. That's talking about America. That's talking about spiritual Egypt. And the most family father is getting ready to visit this place with play. Right. Hey, that's some confusing ass shit. That's how the most I gotta come back. Your house I gotta come back because that's silly as hell. You got the Hamites, all right. You got the so-called Sunni people to this day, all right, which were the original Egyptians, man. Right? You got them out of their territory and it's filled with, like you said, a bunch of these. You know what I'm saying? Uncircumcised uh heathens, man. All right, dwelling in their land, calling themselves by by uh by the title that was given, which is Egyptian, you know, because we know that they are Mizraim in the scripture. All right, so they, they wearing this title and shit. And then you got the so-called uh 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 what are they called? Uh the so-called Jews, which are Amalekites. And our original land, and us over here in America, in captivity into the four corners of the globe, in captivity, while we got a homosexual devil in our homeland, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Claiming to be the uh, the, the, yeah. the, the, the chief tribe and, and, and disannul the rest of the tribe, man. It's utter confusion, man. That don't even make no goddamn sense. Exactly. Right, so, like it, Akim, I'm gonna head out. Uh, the water for inviting me to the lesson, and I'm gonna talk to y'all later. How about you, y'all? Shout about you, my papa, Dr. Rock of Thumb, Akim. Hello, I'm Mike. Hello, I'm Mike. Hey, the water brother, join in. Oh, the water for inviting me. Hey, brother, as soon as it's done, I'm gonna send uh, give uh, put the link in your group chat. Con, con. All right, shallow warm, I can. All right, shallow warm, I can. How you even do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. Hey, hey, I'm new to this, so hey. It's a chilling and shit, it's still be on. The real cool, but. Yeah. This is Proverbs 19 and 1. It says, Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he. That is perverse in his lips and is a fool. All right, and these perverse lips, you, you claiming to have knowledge of something that you have no knowledge of, which is the word, and you claiming to be somebody that you're not. You know, you got men claiming to be the prophets of the Lord, or right? claiming to be saved. You know what I'm saying? Are they all? Are they they saying that? Uh, you know, Allah is the one true God. All these things are perverse. A uh -huh, man's prince be with another man. All right, the Messiah, that, that he literally made those people a fool. Those are foolish things to say, all of those things. So that just shows that the Messiah disregards you. You're a fool, man. The Messiah doesn't care about a fool because they can't even see the day of destruction coming. Um, and they, they made the comparison uh, as, as like seeing you can go outside and you can see the rain. It was about to come. You can see, oh shit, it looked like it might be a tornado somewhere. You know, 
we can, you know, we can perceive those things with the fool. And they're gonna keep going on about their business. You know what I'm saying? Time. That's that's the reason why we considered uh spiritual weather men, you know. We we're, yeah. we're the we're the we're the spiritual weather men. We we're we're seers. Uh, what is say? Uh, ICBM showers, heavy, and ninety percent to one hundred percent of America and uh, whatever of. other parts of the globe. You know. I got a precept for you. Uh, it's Matthew's the sixteenth chapter, verse three. Uh, matter of fact, I'll start at two. It says, he answered and said unto me, when it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and, lo and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but, but, ye, uh, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Right. You can't even perceive it. That's why you have men that's established to tell you what's going on. And even then, if you're still not able to see it, then that just means your role is to be destroyed. You have spiritual weather, man, as the brother said. And the most high has us able to see physically and spiritually the, the, the big storm that's right before us. The sky is red, you got blood moving. Hey, man, guess what? Something big is about to happen in the world. And you still just casting it behind your back. And I'm mainly talking to you two thirds. So we, we expect the devil to do that. But two thirds of our people, you casting this behind your back and shit like it's nothing. Knowing that you have a great inheritance, like the brother was saying earlier. We, we sit here telling you that you actually have a royal bloodline, man. All right, we are royal people. We are the Lord's chosen people, and you take offense to that shit. You would rather be on this side, comfortable, and it's fully slavery, man. This wicked ass bullshit, and it's only gonna get worse, man. And you still cannot see. Most high is cold work. You understand? Uh, okay. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, 19:5. Says a false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Right. Um, piggybacking off of, uh, excuse me, land back off of uh, something that was uh, the scripture that was read earlier. You know, when it comes down to it, man, you're not going to escape all of these lies and all of these things that you go forth telling, uh, are the perverse words that come out of your mouth. All right, and you actually believe on that so much that you would rather hold on to that deception than coming back into your right mind, so to speak. Hey, the most high blinded you, you know, and you can't escape it. You're not going to escape the destruction that's to come. You can't escape it mentally right now, you know. At least we can't escape it physically right now, but mentally, the most high is free our minds, you know. And we've become servants to him. So we have authority and power through the spirit. And we exercise it righteously, you know. Or to the best of our ability, I think. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I got a precept right quick. Uh, 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 um, Second Peter 2 and 5. Uh, and he spared not the old world. But say Noah and eight persons, a preacher of righteousness, bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And uh, the apostles and elders, uh, Great Millstone, been saying that uh, uh, it's a flood of fire coming to this place. But but y'all ain't listening. You know, y'all still think that y'all still got time. But hey, we in them last days. And, and hey, when, when when these wicked times come and, and this sudden destruction hit this motherfucker, hey, Y'all, yeah, hey, the most high made y'all that way, so y'all be with a sword. Right. Uh, uh, turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, just condemning them with an overthrow, making them a sample to those that should live ungodly. And, right. and hey, this world hey, is wicked and wickeder day by day. Hey, it's more wicked. Uh, um, to all of us seen them uh, from the beginning. When I first came in this truth, I, I you know, a hey, what's that, what's that uh, scripture? Show your first to make a, a wise man mad. Hey, mm. I get mad more and more that I I I I I, I study my scriptures 
and, and, and do this work because I see more wickedness that y'all go going about in y'all doings. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, and that's great. Uh what is this the acquiring of this wisdom is a great weirdness to the mind of things. You know, because we have to, but that's what our scripture also goes to say here is the patience in the face of the thing. Because we we're being patient right now. Patience is suffering. Right? We are just flying faith by going out to the highways and the edges. Because we we actually working, you know, the field for and to reap the reward in the next thing, you know. We don't want that. I mean, honestly, the riches on this side is so corrupted. You know, it's really no reason to, to chase it. It's cross riches. This is uh, Psalms 7 and 8. It says, Yahweh shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahweh, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. All right? It takes a lot of integrity to turn down a chip. It takes a lot of integrity to seek the Lord and to be looked at as a fool in this society, you know? They ridicule you uh. in this place by many different things, especially where you stand social, all right, and your spiritual beliefs. All right. You know, they hold us in stand, or they hold us in a court or in the same group as they hold Muslims, man. You know? So so that's a bad thing. That's not a you know, and everybody look, that's the new bad guy in every movie now is, is uh the Arabs or somebody of Muslim descent. Pretty soon, um, these, these movies that they have, we're going to be playing those roles in the time to come. You know, hey, well, they don't mark this terror. Hey, you got um, hey, that scripture says that the love of many is waxing cold. Uh, while you, while you're on that topic, there was a um, I think I want to say it was Massachusetts or, or or somewhere like that. Um, the other the other day. You had a um, a person that that uh, sh there was an active shooting going on somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe that was with, yeah, Wisconsin, and then uh, today in Philly, you had a, a woman who, at a at a right aid facility who killed um, three of her coworkers. Man, you know, so, so the love of many is waxing cold. I, I know you you know you're saying that um, Jake is a new you know, they're about to make Jake the new face of terrorists, but the actual terrorist in the world right now is, is Edomites, man. It's a so-called yeah. white man. You know, there, there, were, there was an article about maybe a week ago where it says that um, within uh, Britain that the so-called white men or so-called white people were becoming the new face of terrorism. You know, and they, they, they're not the new face of terrorism. All right, they've always been the terrorists within the world, man. You know, they're the ones that's yeah. defiling the world, that's bringing devastation and destruction to the world, man. They're the one that's doing all of the killing, that has been doing all of the rape, robbery, and murder. You know, dropping bombs on nations, warring against nations. All right, they're the biggest pedophiles, defiling the food. All right, what, what did they do to the Native Americans when they came over here? What did they do to the so-called Negroes? All right, to the to the it's the tribes, man. They terrorized them. So so Esau is is the true face of terrorism. When you see a so-called cracker, a white man, that's the face of terrorism, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, the pale face. Look, that's the face of death. That's why they worship those goddamn skulls and shit all the time. Every time you look up, but even might got a, a tattoo of a skull on his goddamn arm, or you know, got a skull uh, insignia on his stick shift and his in his fourth bench. You know, all kind of shit, man. That pale ass face, devil, man. That's a problem. That's a sign of death, man. You know, like that pale horse, you pale devil. You know what I'm saying? That red horse as well, shit. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud, uh, he is a proud man, neither keeping at home. He enlarges his desire as hell and as as death. <laughs> he is as death. Goddamn Grim Reapers looking motherfuckers, man. All right? You see this pale ass face? I mean, death is around this motherfucker because don't they already look like they wasted away? Wasted is heat. What happens with your pigmentation when your ass die? It wastes away. 
Hell, look at look at Aretha Franklin, big ass, laying up in that casket with her twelve different uh, twelve different um, apparels that they changed her in and preserve her pale, big beastly ass body. All right, that was wasted away. When you see somebody look like that, it's time to go or it's time to kill this motherfucker. Right. Con, hey. And um, you got a lot of Jakes that still love Esau. That's the reason why in, uh, I want to say that Isaiah 28 chapter, it says, and your covenant with death and hell shall be disannulled. You know, and, and they're really trying to lock themselves into a covenant with, with uh, death and hell by way of taking that RFID chip. Now, death and hell in that book, uh, in the book of uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter, isn't talking about literal death and hell. It is, it is, the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, it says uh, death and hell can never be satisfied. And that's the reason, that's that's a way that the so-called white man is. You know, in the book of Ob Obadiah, as well as in the book of Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, it tells you that uh, if great gatherers came to you by night, will they not take until they had enough? You know, but this devil takes and he takes and he takes and he takes and he takes and he, and he never leaves anything left. You know, but what's going to happen to him and he's going to be cast alive in that lake of fire. All right. Like it says right here in Revelation, the 20th chapter, verse uh, 13. It says, and the sea gave up the dead, which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So how can you... How can you, uh, if hell is supposed to be a place where you burn in fire, how can you cast fire in fire, man? Right. That has to be talking about an actual person, which it is. It's talking about the so-called white man. Because wherever he goes, he brings death and destruction, man. You know, that's the reason why the scripture also tells you about the son of perdition. You know, he's a son of destruction. Uh, the man of sin has been revealed. God damn. You are the man of sin. I mean, you are the, 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 the face of sin. You are the poster child of sin, basically. To, to put it in layman's terms. I mean, you are the poster child. Whenever I somebody think about sin and shit, they just think about the so-called white man. Because he is the man of sin, right? Continue on, have a clip two and, and, and three. Continuing on, it said, um, he can neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and every continent on this planet, man. They have a garrison of post on every continent in this planet. Okay, except for Iran. I mean, well, well, that 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 country in itself. They don't have one in Iran, and you know, they're trying to establish one in North Korea. You know, that's why they're pushing North Korea so hard, because they want to put that garrison in. You know, and what did he, what do you become then? You know. Now you become um what is that called if you don't mind I'm not, I'm not missing the word right now. Uh when another nation conquers you and you have to pay them and resources and taxes, uh I, I, the word slipped my mind. But basically that's, that's tributaries, right? They want to make these uh the rest of the nations tributaries. Once they place a garrison within your within your land, that means that if you act a fool at any point in time. We can snap a finger and have your place, your, your city destroyed within a matter of days from the inside out. It's one thing when you're from the in, outside in because you, you don't have any surveillance within, within the, the, the limits. So you don't know what they have. You don't know that, what they expect. That's the reason why they're putting U.S. embassies in, in, in uh, other countries, you know, uh -huh. so that they can, uh, they can have a, their military position in different places. And then also... You know, it's a, it's a, it's a um it's a show of their power in that region, man. You know, but uh, um, I can, I'm getting ready to sign off. Hey, you how about me? I was shy about some kakudash brakatam. Shalom, I'm Maki. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 um, talking about uh, um, these Edomites, uh, 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 Joel 20 and 27, heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him and the increase of his house shall depart and his good shall flow away in the day of his wrath. 
and kind of hey, all these, all these, all these uh, 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 other heathen nations, hey, they, they, they mad at you. I seen the other video where uh, um, Elder Apostle uh, Rumlai uh, 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 did a video where where uh, 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 Samoan was telling our bitch, you know, uh, fuck you, get the fuck out of my country. You know, because you know he's living. He living. Uh, 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 they living delicious, and they living like motherfucking peasants in their own land. Hey, yeah. everybody tired of your motherfucking ass. Yeah, uh, you know, God. you know, everybody. Hell yeah, everybody in, in a home. I mean, shit, they all down with seeing this place be destroyed. You know, at God. first they're gonna be devastated. You know, because everybody gets something from this this nation. You know, that nobody's gonna have that go to nation that the the sell their goods to anymore. You know, because this is a, a primarily consumer nation. All right, you know. And, hey, and you hey, don't hey, have hey, that don't even want the money. Uh, exactly. Because hey, they they burn their money in the streets like oh. it's like it's like it's paper. Right. Like it's uh, money. Right. Because of the fiat currency, it's fake. And now they're trying to change it to a digital currency. You know what I'm saying? That shit is just, that's just thin air. I'm basically going off the strength of the word. You know what I'm saying? Hey, through these recorded invisible transactions, I have uh, $5.6 billion. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You don't even have physical wealth to prove that a lot of the times, man. Right? It's basically going off an imaginary account. If you got, let's say, you got Bitcoin, let's say you have about 5 million Bitcoins, if that, if that net goes down, you ain't got shit. You ain't got no gold. You ain't got no silver. All you got is your is, is the strength of your word, which ain't shit in this world. You know? That's why it's so to those who trust in uncertain riches. The countries don't even trust this country anymore. You know, yeah. hey, hey, all of them putting sanctions up against uh, uh, Trump sanctions. <laughs> hey, for real. You know, that shit is retarded. You know, that, they, that trade work going through with China, they just keep keep uh, tariffs on each other and shit, all the way to the point where everything that comes from China is going to have tariffs on, which is basically all the normal goods that everybody has. They're going to be in a flame, uh, sold at an inflated price because they're not made here. But then they try to make them knowing that people don't want to do certain jobs that these other nations do. Because then not everything is made in China or, 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 or Taiwan or, 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 or Korea. Ain't, ain't shit made here. No. And then you know what it is. It's not good quality. So huh. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? It, nobody is trying to, uh, what is that? Nobody's starting to afford, you know. That that name used to the the, the possess uh, a certain vibration when you say. It. Now when you say you got to afford anything. That shit is embarrassing. You got what we call it the acronym for Ford. When I was growing up, was fix on regular days or something like on a regular daily or something like that. You know because they had always fix on Ford. You know because it was always something wrong with it. You know these American car brands. Hey, yeah, look, you look at some of the most expensive cars, they're not American brands, they're not American made, you know, Bugatti yeah. and, and, and uh, Bentley, Bentley. And all of this other shit, you know, Jaguar, yeah. those are American companies, man, you know, this is a... Uh, and, uh, and cars, they grow in value as they get older. United States shit, they, they decline in value. Right, because they made out of plastic. You know, plastic devalues, you know. If you have gold, I don't care what the market says, right? With that tangible metal that you have, you have wealth on this side. You can see and feel that. And it's going to last. It's going to last over time. You have a plastic car like these like these new cars are made out of all this plastic and this fiberglass and all this bullshit sheet metal basically uh, and you know that's not that doesn't last the time that shit doesn't last at all you still see some cats with 
with a 57 Chevy, and, and all they did was rebuild the engine and what what replace the axle and, and, and the brakes and the tires. And man, that motherfucker was riding smooth. The spark plug and yeah. shit, you know. Hey, that man was running, running hard because that is made out of metal, steel. You know what I'm saying? Die cast. Yeah. That was that. That was that. Yeah. that, was that. Uh, um, a lot of these um, vehicles right now, uh, uh, um, they only give you a, a ten-year uh, shelf life to to that you can actually make money with these cars. You know, yes. you know, uh, if it's over ten years, these companies will allow you to use that 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 vehicle to make money with. Right, God, and that, that's if you run it right. Like if you putting um, if you putting regular in your your tank, you fucking up. And that really is no matter what car you have, because it leaves a Good. residue on throughout your in engine. You know, it's filthy and it's watered down. You know, you should be, you know, you shouldn't go on the next level, the next grade up, you know. In all actuality, you know, it's premium or, or, or what have you. It might cost you a little more, but your car is going to burn slower and your car is going to function a lot better, you know. Uh, and your gas is going to last longer. Exactly. Because they, exactly. Uh, you know, that's why they on, on the side, right they now, on. Uh, 77, what is uh 87? You know, that shit have pollutants in it. Kind, that's true. Got chips in it too. Um uh, the way they, they well if you look at the gas sign, um it'll show the gas price. They usually just show the regular price and, and the diesel price. You know what I'm saying? They don't ever, you know, show you a premium price, and, and that's what you really need to go off of. Because usually, the difference in the gas price is based on what the premium is, and not the regular. Because it used to be like fifty cents difference between it, and now it's like a seventy or seventy or eighty cent difference. That shows you. That's what. I mean, but people looking at the uh, the regular go from two eighty nine to two ninety nine to two eighty nine. And then some days it'll go to 283 or something like that and bounce back up to two. Yeah. Uh, the price is fucking is, is going up more and more. The distance, the distance is increasing. You know, but people don't see it because they keep playing with the regular price. That's not what you want, you know. You get you you basically um you get what you pay for, you know. You pay the cost to be the boss. Okay. Uh this is okay. made on so like, I was always told when it's for you, you know, don't be cheap when it's for you. Right, right. You know, yeah. you know, he, man, it's just like uh, it. it's fucked up and, and, and it'll fuck your body up when when right. it's for you. You know, you could be for somebody else, you know, you don't give a fuck what you spend on it. But it's something for you, you know, you should spend the best for it. Especially right. if you're consuming it, right? right. That's right. why niggas are dying right now off of uh, 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 cirrhosis of liver and all kind of shit because they're drinking all kind of shit they ain't even good for. It. God, look at that fluoride in the water. They made Kool Aid. And that shit tastes. That shit smells fruity as a motherfucker. You know, because they, they, you know, like we were talking about last time, they mask the taste of something. You know, so people can indulge in that that the thing that is destroying you the fastest. You know, uh, eating them Doritos. You got all the goddamn got every goddamn flavor, but ass. You know, <laughs> half flavor Doritos. Honestly, but the way this society is based as it is, hey, you can't imagine that. It probably really is coming soon. I'm saying hell, because now that you didn't pass homosexual marriage, and they ain't trying to pass these pedophilia laws. Hey, Jeff talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, you also said the basic, the base, the base man is, is ruling this kingdom. So it's good. Hey man, I'm telling you right now, it's coming, man. This is Nahum 3 and 1. It says, Well to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The play the part is not. Like, we can't go nowhere. We're stuck in this condition right now. You know? I mean, we are to pray at this point in time. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses 
horse and of the jumping chariot. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none in it of their carcasses. It says they stumble upon the corpses of their corpses. Right, and that glittering look, man, that glittering spirit that's coming right now. It's definitely going to be those nukes, man. Um, I see being on this one, right? When they're going to a certain phase and you see that fire coming from the end of it and they break apart, you know, even when those warheads break out of the missile, they come out of the head of the missile. I mean, that shit is a, is a, is a light show. You know what I mean? Um, it says, and it's going to cause a lot of death in this place. You know, anything that's on this this continent will be destroyed. That's mass destruction. She said, because of the multitude of the whoredoms are the well-favored Harley, the mistress of witchcraft, what we were talking about earlier, and the pharmacia are drugs, you know, which is the food and also these pills, anything that doesn't have nutrients in it is a drug, because it only harms you, you know, like coffee. Coffee is a stimulant and it's a drug, you know, because it has no nutritional value. It makes you shit. But, you know, you got other natural things that you can take to make you do that, you know. He said, uh, said coffee out? Yeah, coffee. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking straight up coffee. You said coffee out? Yeah. yeah. It don't have no nutrients in it. Okay. Drinking a cup of coffee, like the coffee beans itself, you know, have a nutrients in it. So the process that they do, that they go through when they um, they, they go through an unrefining process with a lot of these instant, especially with these instant coffee. And they take every like when they unre uh, when they, uh excuse me when they refine something, they take all the nutrients out. It makes it kind of when they um uh, 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 um sun bake it, huh. you know. It's actually good for you if you eat if you if you eat it uh, um raw without it without a, without a bacon and it's like, it's a fruit. Yeah, kind, kind. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's yeah. that's what like cocoa. A cocoa leaf is the leaf they cocoa use to make um cocaine. And and at, I think that's in. The Dominican Republic and, and different um, South American places with high elevation. What they do is chew on the on the cocoa uh, uh, leaf, and it helps with elevation sickness. It also gives you a little high, you know what I'm saying? But it's receiving it in its natural form. They just eat the leaves themselves. They're not snorting the white powder that's been manufactured in the lab and shit. You know, usually when you get something on just pure white like that, it's because it's refined. Everything has some kind of color, you know? Like flour. Bleach flour. You know, it's bleach and uh, white sugar. All of those things have been bleached because they have all the, the, uh, the natural nutrients that's within it. Great from Basically like Esau. Right. Wasted away. Wasted away. Like, go ahead, yeah, like, Esau got our people, people hooked on uh, coffee, uh, uh, energy drinks, energy drinks. Shit, motherfuckers dying of them energy drinks right now. Uh, you, know, you know, Jake be, Jake, Jake be uh, Jake drinking be, it, but you know, to a certain extent. Huh. But uh, for the most part, uh, you know, you know it's, it's built for you to overdo it, you know, could to consume it to the max. You know, that's why people be dying and shit. It's, it's addictive. Sugar is addictive. Sugar is addictive. It is, because it's a drug. Heroin is addictive. Heroin is addictive. Cocaine. Cocaine. You know, depending on how when you smoke marijuana, you develop an addiction for it. Because you're consuming it wrong. It turns into a noxious fume when you receive it in the lungs. 
and it and it, and it causes a lot of mucus. It still has some of the, the, the medical properties of it, but uh, you know, I would rather have ninety-nine percent to a hundred percent of something, the nutrients or something if I can have it then you know to mess with it and, and do it and make it into something that's gonna cause different problems, you know. That's, you know, that's you saw technique anyway. So treat you, treat you with one thing for one thing, but it has a side effect that cause something else every time. You know, that's not medically sound. Uh um, so like it, this is Nahum three and four. It's not because of the multitude of organs of the well favored harlot, the mistress of which that fell up nations through the, her hoarding and families through her witchcraft. And they go over there and they look at um, a lot of these, like in Puerto Rico, people don't know, which is um, a state of the United States. Um, Puerto Rico is, is the largest pharmaceutical world producer in the world. You know, that's where Esau produces all his pills out of in, in, in Puerto Rico. That's one of the hell places, you know, when mass produce them, then they send them back over here. And also they go over there and, um, and you see a lot of these bombs that Saudi Arabia is using on Yemen. All right, they're going and they're reading the, uh, the, reading the pieces that are left on the fucking bombs when it says Lockheed Martin and all these different American manufacturers, you know? You know, they basically send all of these bombs to these nations to bomb other nations. You know, they hand it to everything. Um, it says, Behold, I am against thee, say Yahweh of hosts. And I will discover thy face to come thy face, and I will show the nation thy nakedness, and the kingdom thy shame. Right. Well, that's no secret that the whole side is not going to be left unhidden in that place. Everything is being brought forth. The pedophile will, you to sell your soul, the Illuminati. All of these things are being exposed. Who really killed Kennedy? You find out that Martin Luther King. And Bear Weston, that homosexual Bear Weston was in league. And, and King was taken off to do what he did. Or, and he was uh, threatened to do so, to, to make himself uh, he would say that he you know, got down with Bear Weston and did some homosexual shit. Yeah, they did, they did that, man. And Bear Weston was uh, taught and trained by the CIA, you know? So there's, you finding all of these things out now because. Most I was leaving these, these, these devils naked before he destroyed you know? It says, uh, yeah. and I will pass the Kind, kind, exactly, every day, you know? That's why the, 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 the rock piles hate the, uh, the fact that the most I made the internet, man. Think, they think that they made it. No, the most I is used you as a vessel to bring it forth. It says, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing star. So the whole world, no matter where you are in the world, you will be able to send destruction on this place down. A pillar of smoke will rise in the air, and everything on the four corners of the globe will know when destruction of this place is certain other places come. So it's not going to be a mystery. It's not going to be hidden. It's gonna be a gazing stop. Everybody's gonna stop to look at it. Right like now, everybody's going about their business and their daily lives. When that when that event comes, everybody's gonna be looking. You know, you imagine that everybody on the whole thing looking at the same, the same thing, the same thing. That's that's scary. You know, like on Independence Day when those chariots catch the clouds. Everybody dies. Just, everybody, I don't get a look. Cars are crashing into like that car pulled over. And he got out his car, I remember, and then out his truck. He just stood out in the middle of the street looking up and looking up. Harvey truck just smashed his car. You know what I'm saying? And he just looked at it like, oh shit, but then he just looked right back up. Like, you know, that's the time that we're coming into. Like, you know, we're coming into. And the most I cast that abominable filth on its place, uh, which is that nuclear waste, man. All right? You sent the waste to destroy the nuclear waste. 
Yeah, come. Got anything else, brother? No, I ain't got nothing, brother. Got any else? Got any else? About you got anything? Huh? I was looking, but I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I can. Okay, well, well, we can end it then. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, today was a, a beautiful day. Um, right now, because hey, we just had uh, um, brothers on, on on this live stream in camps, and mm -hmm. it, it was it, it was a beautiful day. Uh, hey, mm -hmm. hey, and a lot of our brothers that joined uh, 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 the live stream, a a a a the water for a uh, scriptures and a uh, your, your wisdom, and, and um. Hey, hey, we 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 waiting on the day for we can get up out of this kingdom, and, and we can fellowship with um, each other uh, um, face to face. A and with our uh, with our power, yeah. How about seeing y'all shine the kingdom? But until then, we got steady uh, push this truth out, man. We gotta uh, uh, keep enduring uh, 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 these wicked devices that that's made up to try to bring us down. But hey, hey. Hey, the scripture says it just will live by faith, and, and, and hey, we enduring in this thing. And, and with that said, hey, all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash. Double arms of blessings, and GMS, the Sean Wong to the Optimist, the scoop with sincerity. And until the next time, we bid you Shalom. Hey, Sean Wong. Yeah, but that's hey, catch up later, brother. Show one.